Hi there. Welcome to the Healthy Church Staff Podcast. I'm Todd Rhodes, your host and one of the co-founders over at chemistrystaffing.com. If you've been following along, maybe this is your first time here, but if you've been following along, today we're wrapping up our two-week series on the Apostle Paul with a powerful theme. And this, I just think this is the best way to finish out our series on the Apostle Paul because this is how he finished. On finishing, <laughs> he finished in uh, 2 Timothy 4 7, Paul writes, he says, uh, toward the end of his life and ministry, he says, I have fought the good fight. I've finished the race. I've kept the faith. What a statement. Uh, don't you want to be able, uh, toward the end of our, your life and your ministry, to say that? Paul knew he was nearing the end of his life, but he could look back with confidence knowing that he had given his all to fulfill his God given mission. Now, I don't know about you, but that inspires me. You know, I just turned 60 this year, so maybe it has some additional meaning for me. But it challenges me to ask myself, well, what kind of legacy am I building? How will I be remembered when my ministry race is over? And to be honest, this podcast is a labor of love for me for whatever little bit that it helps anybody, hopefully you, but it's my way of running the race and hopefully finishing the race well and fighting the good fight. Finishing strong isn't just about getting over the fin- crossing the finish line, right? It's about running the race with integrity and with perseverance and a focus on the prize. It's about staying true to your calling even when it's difficult. And there are some days where the work that I do at chemistry is difficult. There are some days where it's hard to record a podcast, even though I know that it's great for my soul and it's hopefully helpful to the people that listen. It's about investing in others and making a lasting impact for the kingdom. And that's what Paul was all about. Think about Paul's impact. His letters make up a significant portion of the New Testament. He planted churches, he mentored leaders, he spread the gospel throughout the Roman Empire, and his legacy continues to inspire and challenge us centuries later. For crying out loud, the last two weeks, we've taken 10 episodes of this small, tiny little podcast. But what have we been talking about? We've been talking about Paul and his influence and how he finished his race. If he didn't finish the race, guess what? We wouldn't be talking about him here today. So how can we finish strong like Paul? Because you may be tired and you may be, and there's a verse that says, you know, don't grow weary in well-doing. You ever just feel like, I know what the verse says, not to be weary in well-doing. But dang it, God, I am weary in well doing. <laughs> you ever feel like that? I feel like that sometimes. But how do we finish strong? There's always temptation to give up or give in. How do we finish strong like Paul? A few practical tips. Okay, I've got five of them here for you. I'm going to run through them really quickly and hopefully they're helpful. Number first, number first, number one, firstly, okay, keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on the prize. Don't get distracted by temporary, by the temporary things that come along or lose sight of the eternal. What is ultimately your goal in ministry? What legacy do you want to leave? Keep your keep that vision in front of you and let that guide your actions. Keep your eyes on the prize. When God called you back in the day, maybe two weeks ago or 50 years ago, when God put a calling on your life, he called you to something. Keep your eyes on that prize. So that's the first one. Second one is mentor others. Invest in the next generation of leaders and equip them to carry the torch. Sometimes you just need to share your knowledge and your skills and your experience with younger pastors and staff members and volunteers because you've learned them and you can help them grow in their faith and their ministry. So keep your eyes on the prize. Mentor others. Finish with integrity. Live a life that reflects your faith and leaves a positive mark on those around you. That means you've got to be honest. You've got to be transparent. You've got to be compassionate in your interactions with others. It means you have to maintain your high ethical standards in all that you do. And honestly, man, this hurts. I've known some people, and you've known some people, chances are, that screwed up on their integrity, okay? And they ended their race prematurely. They ended their ministry prematurely. And it's going to be incredibly difficult for them to end their race. 
So finish with integrity. Celebrate your wins. I don't know how many times this has come up just in the series with Paul, but don't be afraid to take time to acknowledge your accomplishments and celebrate those victories, both big ones and small ones. It's important to recognize your hard work and to give yourself credit for the difference that you're making. I think Paul did that. He was very introspective and retrospective of the work that God had allowed him to do. And then lastly, leave a legacy of love. At the end of the day, the most important legacy that you can leave is one of love. Love God, love your people that he's put in your life, love your calling, and let your love shine brightly through your words and your actions. So the bottom line for today, the way that you finish matters. It matters. So let's strive to finish our ministry race with grace and with faithfulness and with a legacy that honors God. Man, I hope this series, it, it's been really good for me. I've really in, in, enjoyed sharing and uh, learning, digging into the life of Paul and what we can learn from Paul to help us in our current ministries. But like I said, if you've missed any of these episodes on Paul, there's 10 of them. Today's number 10. You can go back and uh, subscribe to the podcast, go back and listen. I think you would enjoy them. All right, we will be back next week. We're going to start a couple week series, I believe, I think it's a couple weeks, on Thanksgiving and preparing our hearts and minds for Thanksgiving. So you won't want to miss that. That starts on Monday next week right here on the Healthy Church Staff Podcast. Thanks so much. Have a great day.